Hi, Earthstein's getting ready to do a collective reading for you guys. I'm going to, whoops, something flipped around. Star flipped around in my deck. It didn't fall out, but I'm going to let it come out since it's a good card. So whether it's me being bad shuffling or it just came out. Okay, let's say like that. Oh, wow. No, Earthstein, you have something good coming in. So keep, like, that's, they're saying don't take your eye off the prize. Don't take your eye off that star, okay? Keep hope. Some of you are losing hope is why. I'm going to also pull one card. These are called Chinese fortune reading cards, but they're pretty normal. I like them, like normal everyday messages. Um, and if you don't resonate with angels or fairies, that's why I purchased these. I thought these would be nice for those of you who like something a little different. Okay, so earth sign messages, earth sign messages. Okay, I think it was new beginnings. Yeah, you guys have a new, oh, look at love. You guys have love under the deck and you have new beginnings. So some of you definitely have new beginnings in love. So do not give up with that star card coming out. I am not going to read from the book. Um, I'll just say new beginnings is fresh starts, fresh opportunities. Could be a birth of a child or a business. Recently you felt unstable, but things are going to get better, especially with the six of wands. Um... Any risks right now will pay off as far as work and career. Good time to purchase real estate or invest. And in relationships, um, this is also a great time for a makeover. This is also a good time for new people, soulmates, to enter your life. And new confidence will attract them at a rapid pace. So this is confidence, six of wands, because he's in that parade. People are admiring and looking at him. So... There's something to do about new love definitely coming in. Let me go to the love card, which is two, which is under the deck. So you have soulmate connections, connections, excuse me, sizzling romantic episodes, dress to impress. So you have two cards that are talking about being admired, being looked at. Now, you may be going out in the evening to something. All right. That could also be that. Um, I also get water for some of you. So it might be a cruise, a boat trip. You're on a boat. It could be small. It doesn't have to be a big one. But this is something about meeting someone out. We have fish here too. So look good, smell good, um, be confident you're going to meet someone. This is a soulmate. This is meant to be. So anything that resonates with you, especially the six of wands, a parade, um, a group gathering. Okay, it says your aura is brighter than ever and your charisma is oozing. Hmm. So as far as career, quickly, um, you're standing taller. Good opportunities and promotions can come to you now. And as far as relationships, those who are not supportive or nurturing, it's time to let them go. Be prepared to move forward. You will find new love. Okay. So let me, let me pull your cards now. Let me put that to the side. So New Beginnings is a very good card for anything, not just love. So if you're thinking about other things, this is promotion. This is getting that job. This is um, being admired by others. Some of you may model or you may be in acting or the um, arts. You may definitely get the spotlight, the limelight. That's what I'm seeing with the star card also. You're the star of the show, something along that line. All right. So let me see if anything else wants to come out on its own. What else does the earth signs need to know at this time? Earth signs. I also get for some of you, if you may, may live in Southern California, there could be the Rose Parade with the parade and the, the new beginnings and the fish. It just feels kind of like for someone there is a, there are definitely holidays. It doesn't have to be that particular one. Holidays are coming up. Good time to meet people out when you're traveling. If you're going to say New York or to another country. All right. All right. Nothing's coming out. So I'll pull them. Okay. You have ten of swords feeling like things are over, hanging on to the past possibly and not knowing what to do. Okay, so they gave you the good message first and they showed you where you're at now. So you may be overwhelmed. You may feel like things aren't working out. Keep your eye on the star. Under the deck right now is the Four of Cups. So definitely something coming in. The Four of Cups might be something you don't want though. It may feel like the same old, same old. So you're tired of what was, whether this is work or love or just where you're living and you want something new. What can you tell them? emperor and a new beginning okay so under the deck now is the magician so for some of you this could be a new beginning with an aries 
This could be someone you already know. This could be also taking control of your own life. You could be the emperor, guy or girl. Someone may want a new start with you, but for the most of you, <clears throat> this is not, new beginnings in love is, is someone new. So this is not someone you would know if it is an, a, this emperor person. Taking control of your thoughts is also what they said, but let me put one more card down. Three of coin, six of swords, and the king of wands. Some of you have a fire sign who is missing you. This is not your three of swords. Um, because somebody is also returning to the past, but you want to. Meaning you guys are deciding to do that. You're leaving a situation, some of you are leaving situations where it's good, but you're not satisfied. You have this fire sign showing up, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, who is broken hearted. Someone's waiting for you. Someone wants you to return. What is the three of swords? So some of you, that may be why you have the emperor and the ace of swords. You are going to start something new with this person. You are going to fix something for some of you. But the majority of you, just like I said, I feel like this is someone new. You're moving towards. You're not going back to the past, so don't worry. Sun. Yeah, you have the sun. Under the deck is the six of coin. You may receive a message or a gift from someone. Because the, fi the king of wands is someone who can be fiery, passionate, um, outspoken, I feel like someone's calling you home. And I don't think you're going home, though. I just feel like that's the feeling I'm getting. This Emperor Ace of Swords may not be you. It may be someone who wants to finally show you how they feel. Because I feel like this is someone who is hiding something. Or not hiding it, but it's like you're going home. Like you have something good, Three of Coin. You're doing well here. And this is not going to resonate for a lot of people where this is. But it's about leaving something that was working. Because sometimes we hang on to things that we're just burnt out on. Ten of Swords, I am burnt out on this. I do good at it. I make money or, you know, we get along. He or she, we get along, but I'm just unhappy. So you're moving on to something better. For some of you, there is someone else involved. It's either, obviously, very strong Aries here. But it's somebody who I feel misses you and you're going to go be with them. Some of you also are moving out of the rainy area because you want more sun. You're tired of it raining all the time. The rain makes you depressed. All the clouds also that, um, too much rain, too much darkness. So some of you, you're just moving. That's all that is. You may have a friend who helps you. This King of Wands for some of you is a friend who cares about you a lot, but it's not a love interest. They may be in love with you, but you don't love them, but that's okay. They're still here to help you. Changes right now are good. You know, this card, is that's exactly what this new beginning card is saying. I mean, it's like moving, changing, making decisions right now at the end of the year here. Figuring out what you want. And instead of hanging on to the past that you're burnt out on. Because I don't think you guys are going to get stabbed in the back, ten of swords. I think some of you just feel that way. Like you're just done. You're tired. You want to move on. So I do see definitely new new possibilities because you're just done with the old and this isn't necessarily like the same of walking away from something or you know leaving a relationship or a person no this is you actually just like moving forward okay let me put one more card though on this king of wands because it doesn't feel like it's finished it feels like this person like again like i do not think that this person okay what fell out thank you okay someone is this person's single they may be well off What else with the nine of coin? What else with the nine of coin? All right, there we go. Seven of coin. This person admires you. This person really likes you. They, you guys do have some history together, so it feels like a friend. It's not an ex. Seven of coin. This person may, yeah, I have the queen of wands trying to flip around. So very strong fire energy. The two of you may get along very well also. You have a lot in common. Um, when you go to them or you're with them, you guys, yeah, see, I have King of Cups that's split with the High Priestess. This person does love you, so you may be giving someone a chance who you didn't really want to get involved with in the past, but when you're with this person, they light you up like the sun. They are giving you some good ideas. They're telling you, come visit me. Let's go travel. Let's go do something. 
So this might be for some of you brand new love. This might, if this doesn't resonate, this could be someone who is new. It doesn't have to be someone you know. I'm not sure why the Three of Swords is here because I don't feel like it's yours. But I just do feel like some of you are going from a negative space to a positive space. But this person for some of you, I do get traveling for some of you. Like let's just go do something completely different and travel. This person may have the money to travel, but this person does love you. All right. Could be a water sign, but that's more about love. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, Earth Signs. Hope that resonated. There was a lot of stuff. If nothing else, I feel like there is definitely a strong new beginning here for some of you. And don't give up the star card. Do not give up on whatever. If this didn't resonate, the main focus that fell out was the star and the six of wands with the new beginning that came out and love underneath the deck. So don't give up on what it is you want to win. I keep hearing like eye on the prize, prize. The star is the prize. Don't give up. So I'm going to keep... Um, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.